job, Josh. The no, real listen. question is, did you deserve it? Worth <laughs> was singing country music at the bar. May I just rest real quick? You're I fine. You do what you want. Can I looked at Worth and I said, body. if you <laughs> don't <laughs> stop singing country lyrics, I'm going to punch you in the dick. He did not listen. He continued <laughs> to sing country music lyrics, and I proceeded to punch him squarely in the dick. They went right to the fucking ground. He, so he actually got like a legit shot on you. Apparently, he he, uh, he punched me directly in the left nut, and he said, "If I if I don't stop, he would hit me in the nut." I got no, 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 no. Jesus, well, whiskey. I was saying, I have a beer. Jesus, I'm gonna take the blame for this. Oh I'll be okay. And then they start singing "Thunder Rolls." That's, that's that's, that's what I sang. And Josh hit me the nuts. What's up, guys? It is the Friendly Fire Podcast, episode 51. Hi. Yeah, What's boy. Going Sorry. Yeah, we are, you know, this is the first episode of our second year. It's a podcast. Oh my god. Oh, come on, Sean. You can do better than I'm that. here for the it's first podcast. episode. It's a podcast! Right. Of year two? Yeah. yeah. You missed our year anniversary, man. Yeah. I know. And you missed a lot. I hadn't seen my wife and daughter in like a week. <laughs> That's fair, I guess. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you lead a busy life. It's okay. Learn to love your mistakes. Shit happens. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's okay. You went to a dark place, Sean. Jesus. Yeah. So we are it's all like here. It's you know from experience, we're... Sean. What? Exactly. What? So you sound you, like no from experience. You all shut up. Well, we are, uh, there's six of us here tonight. We're sending everyone to Josh. Yeah. So we have, it's going to be an Xbox kind of heavy podcast. Sorry, Pat. Yeah. Okay. You're, you're outnumbered. PC. So. Bring it on. Drew, Pro- shut up. No yeah. one cares. We'll call, we'll call it. <laughs> Everybody cares. No, hey, honestly, we'll call it a, uh, I'm starting to go PC, so you're going okay. to get over it someday. We'll Beat. call it a cross pl- or cross-platform podcast. There you go. Okay. You go. I would like to get a PC. I just don't. Have the money for it yet? Or so we'll room? See. Do you have the room? You for just got to do like yeah. I'm doing and I could slowly clean. save up. There you go. Bit by bit. I need to, man. I really do. Dude, I've like put Shit away happens, like though. there was week months where I put away like fifty bucks, and that fifty bucks is enough that I'm up man. to five hundred now. I literally only support myself and too. I, I, I can only do that. want like <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll pop so you down in front of a rig right. and play Skyrim with mods, and you'll be like, oh my god. If just you can change my life, Drew, I will do it. Okay. You know, I, w- okay. I would say up for a PC, but I'm I'm kind of addicted to buying paintball shit. So, um, <laughs> well, yeah, you should stop that. Yeah, yeah, fuck that shit. You know, yeah. you can rent all that stuff. No, no, reasonable it, prices. No, it's not. It's not. It's not the same. Those guns are garbage. It is not, I'm aware it is that garbage. they're garbage, but <laughs> you like, still can rent it though. So, the amount of money I've spent on paintball stuff for my entire life is ridiculous. I'm not it's even too much, man. I can't handle all your mistakes. It's no, not a mistake. I love it. I don't regret it one bit. The amount of money I've spent on trading card games is just. <laughs> I mean, I would guess that I've probably spent like fifteen grand on trading card games. You can have like That's fifteen a... PCs no, with no, that. No, no, there's no way. Oh, I fifteen grand? Fifteen grand? No. How do you justify fifteen there's, grand? There's absolutely played, no way. I've played Pokemon. I've played Dragon Ball Z. I've played Yu Gi Oh. I've played Magic. And I got back into Pokemon. I would say maybe... Don't forget Munchkin. And I've all recently purchased... uh, Well, I don't know. Those are kind of... Dice Masters? It's kind of a tabletop game. Dice Masters is kind of like a trading card game. That counts as a card game. I wasted so much fucking money on Dice Masters and I have not played it yet. That's because all of you are scared. Keep in mind, this isn't isn't counting all the money he spent on Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. I'm talking about card games. I did spend a lot it's, of that. Well, you, you know what? It, I think it's fucking relevant. Way to Sue stay, me. you know, keep, keep up on what we're talking about. Worth. Sue, we're, we're, talking, we're talking about disco wasting money. Yeah. Mass that is fair. Mass, Mass That's fair, though. Mass Effect 3 is perfectly <laughs> applicable for that. Yeah. Applicable. It was like $120 at least on just <laughs> in-game purchases. And how oh, do you God. feel about that? Totally okay with it. Right, good. Good call. I like that call. <laughs> learn to love your mistakes. So, I didn't have to learn. I, I loved it right away. I went into GameStop and bought $60 <laughs> worth of credit from Logan. Yeah, I was working there and yeah, just because, like, give me give me the fucking Microsoft points. Those are like, the days. Yes, sir. But I just I go in and just, like, hang out and just surprise you, like, hey, Logan. Right. That's you like a fucking person that works at a fucking alcohol store, like, supporting a drunk. <laughs> It's a similar That's kind of addiction, their career, right? So, right. Yes. I know we have a problem, but here's some Microsoft points. 
you didn't give me any Microsoft points, you son of a bitch. Oh, I didn't give them. I charged Disco. I didn't give oh, okay. them. Well, right that now. that's even worse. Like, a friend comes in and is like, yo, I need some Microsoft points. Pay full price, yeah. bitch. We're not friends. Fuck friends. <laughs> <laughs> You never earn the friend discount. Oh, you have to do favors. I gave people discounts once in a while, so what up? No, you had you, you were going to say something. You had, I was going to start the what we've been playing. Oh, well, we haven't even announced your series yet this week. I said everybody but Josh. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, fine. Never mind. <laughs> I'm Logan, and Sean walked away. Who's that guy right there? I'm Patrick. I'm Nate. This guy. Drew. We did forget to do that last week, so yeah. that's a good call. There you go. Yeah. Good call, See, worth. I'm, I'm holding you accountable. You're on top of shit. I like it. I like it. I am like in my I, mind, I said everybody's here, but Josh, I assume everybody knows. It's been fifty-one. It's been fifty-one podcasts. episodes. Maybe this is their first one though. You're worth yeah. your weight. In I, I, I am podcast God in command. Hey, second in command. You shut your cock. Second command. Command. blasphemy. God's right hand. Yeah, I am the right hand of God. There you go. Worth does help me say. Of the podcast. So, yes. Exactly. So I, could I be could I be Judas then in this case? Sure. Fuck yeah. yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. And I just lost all of our Christian listeners. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. <laughs> So, I'm starting what we've been playing this week, Ooh. because I played a shit ton of ESO, and I complained about it last week, <laughs> at length, after playing it for over a week now, since the release happened, uh, the uh, one Temriel update, it's, uh, we talked about it last week, they added, uh, they basically everybody levels at the same rate now, uh, all the monsters everywhere, like, you know, applicable to your level, after playing it more and more, I've started to like the update over time. Certain bosses are still ridiculously, absurdly hard. I do miss how when you level up in one area, you feel like you earned it, and then you can come back and be stronger there. Everything, everywhere is equal now. Okay. So what flipped you? Pretty much just playing it more and more, those problems became became less of an issue for me. Okay. I don't so know how to explain it. it just, just by playing from it... From what I've read about the update, it sounds like the one Tamriel update makes you have to rely on your gear far more. Yeah. In a sense, yes. They added like, more it, gear it's sets. far less your level that determines your strength and far more your gear. In a sense, yes. You do need to find the right perks as you level up. The gear, you've always had to keep your gear on your level before any update ever. That's always been a thing. But this does emphasize the gear more, like you're saying. And also, um, I was talking to somebody who was... Like got my, uh, I can't talk tonight. I talked to somebody who has max level, uh, way above anything I've done, and I'm the highest level out of anybody here. What is the max level? Anyway? So the max level is fifty, but then there are things called champion points, and as you level up past the max level, you get these champion points that you get to add to more skill trees, and that's where a lot of your strength. So it's kind of like it's kind of like the Paragon points in Diablo three. I don't know Diablo similar. at all, so maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, okay, well, Diablo has a max level a uh, level cap. It's like gear score, and then after that. It's, okay. it's basically levels of Paragon. It's, right? Yeah. It's yeah, light yeah. for Destiny. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah I understand that one, Drew. Thank you. I understand that. You're welcome. I'm, there that's you go. what I'm yeah. here for. Right. Okay. So, no, uh, <laughs> as you level up, you get the champion points. Um, You get way, way fucking stronger. So, there's things that I don't know about the update that will apply later as I level up. Uh, they, But, yeah, I think... I don't know if this happened in this update, but, like, you can sell things for more money. You can do all kinds of shit in one Tamriel. So, I'm really digging it now. I'm very happy that I got back into the game. Okay. Super excited about it. I love so it's kind of like it's kind of like more you played it and you understood why they made the changes. Basically, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I still I still wish that I could go back to the main area and feel like I fucking earned my place there. But other than that, basically everything is fine. So uh, I guess the better question is, do I, do I need to buy the game? Yes, right? fuck yes, dude. <sighs> Me, Josh, and our friend Jared play. We play pretty regularly. And if Disco wants to jump on, we can do that. So any character can play with anybody now, which is helpful, you know. So yeah. Okay. My only uh, thing being an MMO based guy, uh, Skyrim and Bethesda games have always had that feel like you're continuously evolving and like exploring the wasteland. But uh, I, I can understand where you're coming from because when like in World of Warcraft, there's nothing more satisfying. Just go eat his fucking candy yeah, orange slices over here. <laughs> That's Sorry, not Pat. picking up on the I'm mic. talking about World of Warcraft and you're interrupting me. I Continue, Pat. What were you saying? No, I'm kidding. Uh, but there's nothing really more satisfying personally to me is <laughs> like being level 100 and going back to an old raid that I couldn't do back in the day and just like one-shotting fucking everything and just going in. <laughs> that like, mic is so loud. But no, it, it'll be nice once we are uh, 
once we get more people full level, we can go back to some of those areas and just fucking decimate shit. Yeah. So it'll yeah. be nice. It'll I miss be Neverwinter. Right, I do too. I don't. It'd I don't be nice do. if somebody I literally bought a fucking never Xbox One. I don't understand what you enjoyed about it. It was horrible. It was literally the most... Uh, we can get back to that later. The Jessica, most focused you... game on in-game purchases I've ever fucking seen. But it's ever. But yeah, there I mean, is no it, it, other it, game that even comes close. It's a free game though. I mean, they got to make. Oh, it it's a somewhere. free game where you spend twenty dollars to get a useful piece of gear. Hey, a I mean, useful piece of. Gear. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying I condone that, but I understand. No more never. I'm gonna talk. let you finish. Thank what you else have you been playing? Thank you, Drew. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. I played some Rocket League. I played a bunch of Siege. I got the holiday events done for Siege, so I got Renown and a little skeleton charm thing. I need to do that too because yes. I'm a fucking boss. Uh, what else did I play? Uh, what are you about to play? Oh, fuck. Skyrim comes out, like, in a couple hours, basically. I'm so, like, so... Literally, literally an hour. Basically, yeah. I'm so excited. I'll be playing so much Skyrim. Uh, Battlefield. <laughs> fuck yeah, I played a lot of Battlefield this week. Yes. That game is... It's amazing. I, I was talking about how if uh, there's any shooter to bring me back to, you know, first-person shooters, it would be this game. And it did? Basically, yeah. Good. The only thing is, which is not the game's fault, you need a team. It's harder to play solo than it is with a team. It's so much more fun. But with Battlefield, what else is new? Well, exactly. You know? I'm not complaining. Yeah. I like that aspect of it. When I want to play solo, I go play Siege because I don't really care about teams and Siege. But uh, Battlefield has been great so far. Uh, we played Operations with about four of us. And I it, love Operations. It was so fucking fun. I'm, I'm totally digging it. I'm very happy with it. So mm. that's all I've been playing. Yes. Sean? With that being said, even with the team, it's still kind of difficult to win a Battlefield 1. Well, I mean, with... with Because you could have, like, four awesome players that are playing the objective, but then you have, like, 40-something retards that don't know what the fuck they're doing. (laughs) More or less. Because it was me, Sean, Worth, and our friend Jared. Jared. There was four of us playing out of, what, there's uh, 24? It's 32. 32. 32. Yeah, 32 players. So we were four of 32. We were, like, the top five or six score, you know, point value, and we still lost the operations match. Because nobody knew what the fuck that they were doing. Me and Sean were in the airship for, like, most of the oh, match. Oh, it was God. amazing. Don't so me, fun. Don't me, me and Jared are, like, on don't the Don't get me started on the fucking airship. Yeah. Shit. Oh. So, no, it's it's a great game. I mean, if you play as a team with your crew, it still might be difficult to win, but that's just Battlefield. It's, it's, so, it's such a good game. It's very fun. Ooh. Patrick, what are you doing? Saw your phone, Pat. Oh, I just saw his phone, Pat. Okay. So, Sean, what else did you play this week? I haven't even said what I have been playing this well, week. Well, Battlefield's one of them, so shut your goddamn Battlefield mouth. is one of okay, them. Okay, what else? Uh, I played one game of the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare beta, and I immediately uninstalled it. Cut guy. I did the same. Cut guy. I did the same thing. I installed it because before it's bas- one match. Because it's basically Black Ops 3 with a, a fresh set of paint. That's literally all it is. The way I consider it is it, it's a reskin Black Ops 3 with reskin Modern Warfare 2 maps. Like, Without the movement of Battle or uh, Black Ops 3. Yeah. There's not as much movement as Black Ops 3. Did, I mean, you still get like the jump, like the. Like the like so the what you're saying is everything is different and shut up. You still get the, <laughs> you still get the boost what? jump thing. You literally just said it was like. The, it was. Like the game in this aspect, and like a different game in this aspect, and not like just the like game aesthetic. In this aesthetically speaking, it looks exactly like Black Ops Three. What did you expect? It's made by the same fucking company. They're not going to innovate that franchise if it's fucking printing money for them. So yeah, I'm hoping which, this game sells, which more is like, unfortunate. So they, but, it makes them want to do something new. And like, there's rumors going around that the next uh, Call of Duty will be in Vietnam, but but they've been saying that for years. Yeah, I mean. Did you guys see that meme where it was, uh, it was like the old Call of Duties of yore, where it was like a bunch of soldiers with like hands over their hearts and stuff like that, and then it was like Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, where they're with doing the whip, man. whip, watch me, nay, nay, dabs yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so stupid. Honestly, Call of Duty, at its best, is with boots on the ground. None of this fucking futuristic bullshit. They're best from Infinity Ward. I agree. Black yeah, Ops, which, the original Black Ops, Black Ops Two, whatever. I don't Black Ops One was better. I thought That's, Black Ops but, One was easily the best one since Modern Warfare. And that still yep. goes with what Sean says: boots on the ground, keep it real, like good yeah. story. You know, add you know, no to innovate fucking jetpacks. Yeah, I mean, Kit Harrington and Conor McGregor can't save you this year. Ground pound, Call of Duty, like goddamn. Winter's uh, not coming. Oh, start talking about ground pounds. God. Disco triggered. 
Ha- Halo Reach is the best Halo ever. <laughs> oh. oh, damn. Anything else, Sean? I punched the ground and it killed you. <laughs> uh, other than that, um, obviously a little bit of Rocket League, which surprises nobody We came ever. super close to Challenger 3 and doubles. We were like one rank off. Mm. We'll get there. Yep. And then we'll get Challenger Elite. You'll see. And then I'll kill myself because it's going to be fucking awful. Um, that's, I think that's pretty much it. Patrick, what have you been playing this week? Patrick has been playing, like, two games, that's it. The entire games. time. That happens sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I recently started up my annual gameplay of Xenogears, my favorite game ever created. Nice. Uh, I literally started, actually, two days ago, and I'm like, one thirty second fifth of the way through the game. <laughs> One thirty second. So, that is an accurate measurement. That's an actual yeah. fraction. That is like, a I gargoyle spent, form of I spent, I spent like an hour and a half. I don't just, think that's real fraction. <laughs> I just spent an hour and a half last night just like grinding levels just to get to that point where I don't have to worry about it in so, storyline. What makes you go back to this game every year? I mean, you said it's your favorite, obviously, but is there something specific that the you can story. say? Just the story is just that, the story that is good? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, nice. I mean, uh, it, it's really hard to explain... Like, I could tell you guys the summary, and you would all look at me, like, very confused Wait, the entire time. <laughs> the fuck, Pat? But it's, it, it's very well done. Oh, and obviously, m- being me, the music is, you know, music right. a big point That's of it. That's always important. And the music's amazing in the game. And it's Square Enix, so the guys who made Final Fantasy and all that, so obviously the producers were good. Um, also, uh, the final chapter of King's Quest came out. This week. Oh, nice. nice. Chapter five That's came cool. Out. I didn't know that. Dude, um, I love that game. I am about halfway through the final chapter right now. I kind of got tired when I was playing it, and I'm like, <laughs> all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait till the next day. Um, I'm excited, though, because it'll finish the chapter, but I did get, like I said, I very rarely get a season pass. I got the season pass, and uh, there's an epilogue, chap- like a bonus chapter that That's you get cool. for getting the season pass. So that's actually a good incentive to get the season pass. That's a good yeah, marketing. I basically instead of right paying there. fifteen dollars per episode, I paid ten dollars per episode, and I got a free episode on top of it. So that was like the point of the season pass. And that game is actually pretty fun too. It's really fun. It it had it's telltale wise, but way more puzzle based. I've mm. I've I've actually played the first chapter of it, and it's I I I loved it. There's a lot more gameplay involved too, isn't there? Yeah. Um it's it's yeah. more like it's more analytical. Like you yeah. you kind of look at what you have in terms of your inventory and you're like, "Hmm, what can I do with these items or where can I go or who can I talk to in order to progress the storyline?" Okay. And there's multiple ways you can do the game. Like you can go for the intellectual route, the warrior route, or the compassion route. Okay. To where whether you're going to like if I want to figure out and discover this eye <laughs> like what one of the first things you have to do is during the tournament it's like you have to go find an eye of a deadly beast and if you do the warrior route you can go like fight a dragon and then you get the dragon's eye you mm-hmm. the intellectual route you find a pumpkin and then you like like douse it blue and then you put a candle in it and it looks like a monster's eye so then you're good and then the other one is the compassion route where you find a giant jo- like a troll and you you like, you make him a pie and then you give him the pie and he goes and he kills a monster for you and brings him brings an eye for you and then that's the way you can do it so there's like multiple routes and the it's one of those like telltale like features though where once you finish something it's not like you have save points once you do something you can't go back and change it Hmm. so if you want to start a new character and you're like oh fuck i made the wrong decision guess what you're gonna have to restart if you want the true experience you're gonna have to restart the entire game all over again jesus yeah so but like, you can't get out of it that easily. Well, the voice acting is great. Chris, like I said multiple times, Christopher Lloyd is one of the main voice actors. Freaking Doc Brown from. I haven't seen him since Piranha. <laughs> he was in Piranha. God, yeah, Piranha Three D. Yeah. Was he? Yes. With Gina Michaels too. Is she in that? Yeah, she is. <laughs> yeah, you would know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. You know, would be beat. reference like beat. what was that like podcast nine for that like, yeah it's been a while yeah Shyla Styles Shyla Styles Styles 
Pat's like, how would you know, Drew? And Drew's like, because I watch porn like a normal person. <laughs> I fucking forgot about all of that. <laughs> uh, besides Xenogears and King's Quest, um, I have played Hearthstone. Her? He said it right. Hearthstone. Oh my god. god. Yeah. All that stuff. And uh, also, I've been very jealous because apparently uh, we're going back to Karazhan for... I'll pretend I know what you're talking about. Wow, it's horse darn tar- talk. No, there's there no there's a new instance coming out. Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah. you're going oh, back. Man. Yeah, you're going back to Carzon. Uh, That's one of the new ones. You guys and your fucking wow. It's called Legion the Return talk. of the Carzon. I'm kind of I'm. My, you haven't my, Legion yet? No, my dick's getting hard. Kind of talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my computer would still. Run. I uh I I I don't have the money right now to make a purchase of Legion. Stop playing Home Simulator. God damn it, it takes up all my money and doesn't do anything for me. Like, I don't even have, like, running sink water. It's crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah, I can make sandwiches, though. You want a sandwich, I'll make you a sandwich. I can make sandwiches. I have, I, have a, I have a toaster, so. That's about make, it, though. Like come some, to my games. Yeah. I can make a damn good toasted turkey sandwich. Skyrim is on the list of what to do. Why is there mushrooms? Yeah. <laughs> What's Mainly that? because it's not it's bad to say I'm not excited so much for the mods. Like the mods are awesome, but I'm excited because I never got to play any of the DLC and since I get a remastered version. What is that? My Xbox just randomly turned on Sean. Yeah, what? there's there's a Granado. What? Sean left the podcast, he's playing Rocket League. Sean's good about to play Rocket League in the background. But I'm glad you're gonna play Skyrim. That, that's what that, I really want to yeah. do because uh Dawn Guard I heard was awesome, but I heard Dragonborn is fucking like legit. Like lore wise and story wise, music wise, like all the extra stuff that comes with it. Because I played Dragonborn. Uh, no, no, no. I played Dawn Guard. I played, sorry, I played the vampire one, which was fucking like, awesome. Dragonborn, you get a shout that allows you to ride a dragon. Yeah. I have not done that yet, so I'm yeah, also very That's, excited yeah, for that. Also, I'm so excited. It's, for it. Oh, it's gonna be as amazing. long as the Randy Savage mod is in is in this. Like I'm there. Uh, I'm sold. It'll probably be on we'll Xbox. See. Maybe not on we'll PS4. See. <laughs> Anything else, Pat? Nope. 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 But my one last thing. Unless, never mind. I'll wait until we get to uh, leaving us in suspense. Eh? Sorry. Yeah, it could be a later topic. Later topic. What are you been, What are you even playing with? Um, I've been a casual shooter skin this week. Ha um, ha. But I would say eighty percent of that was Battlefield One. So that's that's okay. okay. That's, that's okay. okay. That's acceptable because you know that game's actually good. <laughs> and um, and then I did play the Infinite Warfare beta. It's it's meh. It's you know it's COD. I can't, <laughs> I can't really. I can't say that it's 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 just meh. It's it's it's, it's fine. Yeah, it's. I mean, it, it, there's nothing else to say about it. It's the same fucking copy and pasted gameplay that you every year. But the only reason I'm buying it is communism. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Sure. The only reason I'm buying it is just so I can play COD Four again. That's all I want. Like that's. I will I will pay the money for COD Four. That is one of my favorite favorite games of all time. I'm making my own version of COD Four. Yeah, it's gonna be fifty dollars, not sixty. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. It'll be re- it'll be like remastered, but like better. I mean, all the lines are done with Drew too. No, no, all the lines are done by by porn actresses. Okay, that'd be interesting. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Like, yeah. Cap- who would who would play Captain Price then? Mia well, Khalifa. it's uh, Mia it's, Khalifa. Yeah, <laughs> they all get naked, so okay. you know, fifty bucks. It's it's yours. Okay, I'm there. I'm sold. You got me. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's they, a couple like one of the maps they had in the beta was was a re, was a reskin um, terminal from Modern Warfare Two, which I love that map. I love I, that was one of my favorite. That was maps. one of the better maps, honestly. The, the yeah. airline terminal. Yeah, the yeah, airline that, terminal. I had a lot of fun playing. Yeah, that was like, and I mean, plus the name terminal. Yeah, thus the name Terminal. But, like, I mean, that was cool. Like, I, I've appreciated that they kind of paid an homage to the older games. Like, is Modern, I love Modern Warfare 2. It was really good. And, like, I did get that, like, kind of nostalgic feeling while playing it. But, just, I, I want the boots on the ground gameplay back. Like, get rid of the fucking jetpacks. I don't, I'm tired of jetpacks. I don't want to fucking deal with that shit anymore. Like, that's why, that's why I want COD 4 so bad. But it's innovative. No, it's not. It's not groundbreaking. It's but, not 10 out of 10 IGN. But, dude, it's, it's, not... it's new because it came out this year. No, it's not. It's like... It's, you know, like I said, Jon Snow can't save this game. It's the, <laughs> it's like and, the developer of, like, all of the Call of Duty games you come to know and love. <sighs> and, like, 
you have to pay Infinity, like ninety dollars for Infinity it. Ward. <laughs> What's not to love there? <laughs> Infinity Ward was at the top of their game in like two thousand seven. You know when COD Four was released, and now they're just completely gutted, and it's it's not the same. It's like a, it, it and it's kind of heartbreaking to me because I love I like Infinity Ward is such a, like a such a you know iconic household name, and to see them releasing such like just mediocre crap, I'm just like, what the fuck? It's time. It's for a new shooter to emerge. Well, lucky, it is time for a new shooter to emerge. Lucky for you, Worth, most of the Infinity War talent just released Titanfall 2 Titanfall today. 2. I know, today. So maybe that'll be good. I, I know. I, Who knows, and then, right? You know what? Play, after playing the, the, the beta for Titanfall 2, like, I'm pretty excited for that game. I want to I want to pick it up. I'm excited too. And I like that they are releasing all the DLC for free. Like That is a topic coming up in a little bit. That is a topic bit. coming up in yes. a little bit, but, we'll, but that's a teaser. Faux free. Faux free, just like what Halo 5 did. And... Um, and then aside from that, I was playing um, Siege. Uh, played that for about a couple hours last night. I was not on my A game, so I quit. And then I went back to Battlefield 1. It happens. Because, God, sniping game is strong right now. So fun. Love it. But that's it. Disco, what have you been playing? It's time for you to get on the mic. I have not played a lot over the last two weeks. I think I've only... I did pick up EOS, ESO for a little bit. Uh, started up a new tank character to play with everybody. We could use that. We have a healer and two like range DPS, so we need someone up in the front. We'd appreciate it. And then uh, I picked up a new game for five bucks that everyone should play. Oh, it is called One Finger Death Punch. PC Master Race. Yes, it is True. on PC. Nobody cares. Obligatory PC Master Race post. It All is right. a five dollar Steam game, and it is called One Finger Death Punch because you can technically play the game with one finger. So how is this possible? I don't understand this. The only Explain to me. thing that you do is hit left or right mouse buttons. So those are two then, right? You could do it with one finger technically. Oh, it, semantics. It, Fuck that. I don't. One, I, don't, I, don't I, I play with two fingers. I don't I buy it. The, yeah. I play the app version of it. Like it, you really like can't play with just one finger. Damn. It's, well, the app version, yeah, because you probably just click on the left or the right side of the screen. It's a, it's a lot of fun. I, I do like that game a lot. It's also made by Adult Swim Games. Is it really? Yes. Wow. I didn't know that. But it goes, like, the game is essentially, there's, like, five different kung fu styles. Or martial arts styles. I don't know why I said kung fu. Martial arts styles that you can... You mean the Dane Cook of martial arts? Use. Arch Krav Maga. No, it's karate, actually. Karate, sorry, oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> and uh, so I think there's like Drunken Fist and a crane one and an eagle one and a lion one. Something else, I can't remember ever. But uh, essentially, like enemies will come at you from the left or the right. And regular enemies, you just one, you hit one time. Uh, then there'll be colored enemies that have patterns. Each colored enemy has its own pattern. Of how you have to fight it. So say uh, the first colored enemy they throw at you is a green enemy. A green enemy requires two hits to kill. So if it's on the right side of you and it's coming, you have to hit right twice to kill it. Now then there's the, the second colored enemy they add is a blue enemy. And a blue enemy is you hit it from the one side and then it flips over to your other side and then you have to hit it on the other side. Okay. So there's different ways to basically different inputs you need to know per there is enemy. Eventually, I, the point that I'm at, the strong, the farthest I've gotten, there's a uh, four hit enemies, like the turquoise one or something is like two on the right, then one on the left, then one on the right. Huh. And, and then that like... starts getting super confusing when they're coming at you at like 175 times speed, <laughs> and there's like ten other enemies on the screen at the same time, and that there's a boss crazy. coming too, and you know the boss is coming. <laughs> because the boss fights are basically like it'll it'll have like a, a scroll down event that comes down and you have to hit the combination of buttons that it shows in the scroll down event. And you can hit them as fast or slow as you want. Um, well, not as slow as you want. It, you, you can hit them as fast as you want and then there's a specific speed that it scrolls down that you can hit it at. That's cool though. At least it kind of gives you the option to a point. Yeah. So, But yeah. then... Uh, Aside from that, it has some like special bonus rounds, like timed rounds or survival rounds, or uh, like light sword rounds, which are my favorite by far. And then there's like nunchuck rounds. Yeah, the word light sword is in there. 
Well, yeah, I mean, it's basically a lightsaber, but I think it has a joke in there where it says it's called a light sword, not a lightsaber. But uh, they're super fun. The game's just a, a great $5 game. It should be picked up by everybody. Yeah. It sounds interesting. I've never heard of a game quite like in that. In reality, really, so. what you could call it is a um, like t- timing button click game. Huh. And there are combos. It helps a lot your too. ability to react. Like it's a reaction time thing. Nice. I I would probably be terrible at that because sometimes there's a I, point where I get really there's certain this. round like the survival the the blind survival. Holy crap. It's so hard. I haven't even tried the survival mode after that. The blind survival, you can't even tell what color like the enemies are that are colored. That's what yeah. I was just about to ask. That would suck. And so they just do things and you just have to know. <laughs> I'm just saying, Good luck, motherfucker. Is yeah. is the color the only notification or do they also Oh, it shows it right thing. underneath their character. Like yeah. the color is the more noticeable note like Okay, so the color of the character is a direct, like that color character always has the same pattern. But they also show the pattern right underneath the character. And so that helps. But it's hard when there's 10 enemies on the screen to pay attention to the bars underneath the character. It's a lot easier to pay attention to the colors of the character. Nice. All right. So that helps. But, I'm always uh, looking for good, like, it's a games great and shit like that. $5 yeah. game. Oh, yeah. Great. Awesome. I, dude, I love those games where you can just pay like, I don't know, like 5, 10, 15 bucks and that game will last you like just the gameplay alone can keep you going just to pick up and play a game where you can just, I don't know, spend 15, 20, 30 minutes. I usually like I'll get on like before I get on my Xbox, I'll play like a, a round or two and then I'll get on Xbox. I love those games. Mm-hmm. I love them. Just pick up and play mm-hmm. when you're bored. Right. Where are you pooping? Like not something you have to be well, invested in. I have mine on a computer. Pretty so. much. No, no, no. That's yeah, Pat. I played that I played that when I was like taking a shit. Are you kidding me? Time. You know how many mobile games I played while pooping? That's so great. How many how many how many how many, how many uh, like hours I put into Pants for Zombies 2, like the mobile game? Not like Garden Warfare 2, but Pants just for Zombies 2, the mobile game wasn't that great. Yeah, but I but I put a lot I spent a lot of time just playing that game while I was taking a shit. So like those uh, hours. I was very disappointed with how much uh PopCap did not do well on the second version. It wasn't, of the game. yeah, it was a money grab. Like, it was a lot of, like, you know, pay to well, win the, shit. It wasn't even that. Like, the levels were way too easy. Like, way too easy. It wasn't like the first one where, like, it was challenging because if you didn't set your map up almost exactly right, you were in a struggle. But the second one is like, oh, well, I got all the good characters right off the bat, so I'll just place them right in the back and, well, I won. That's yeah. It. I don't know. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say the game is that silly easy but i went like, through that one like they would release a new set of levels and i'd have it beat in literally like a half hour <laughs> i don't know i just thought it was a money grab like it was definitely pay to win type shit anything else disco any other games going um, on i played uh, i said eso uh, you played pvz right i played some garden warfare 2 right on basically i just uh i did the community event just yes. to get the chests I think I got a piece, or I got a hat for the Citron for my legendary piece. Ooh, yeah, exciting. Yeah. That's it's like a cat or something, I don't know. But C- uh, Citron cat. Those armor, sorry, those, do those pieces give you bonuses in the game? No, they're purely cosmetic. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I wouldn't say that they're purely cosmetic. They are purely cosmetic, but compared to the other cosmetic items, they usually have something special about them. Like the crown that you can get for 200 stars will say things when you do stuff. Like, if oh, you get a multi-kill, no. it the crown will talk. Multi-vanquish! Yeah. <laughs> it does stuff like that. Oh, yeah, that'll, yeah. And then that's I funny. have another one that's like a, a a Rubik's Cube that floats above the scientist's head, and it, like, spins, and when you kill somebody, it spins faster. It's kind of... There's just yeah. random yeah. items like that. That was oh, the man. first that's legendary cool. piece I ever got, was the Rubik's Cube. That'd be sweet if, like, after you kill enough people and it's spun enough, like, it... it finishes the rubik's cube and then you get like a special attack because you finished the rubik's cube that kind of stuff would be cool and it might be worth bringing up to popcap they're always willing to change things mm-hmm. i'm gonna say like you say it spins so i'm like you're trying to figure it out as you're killing people and then all of a sudden when you figure it out you're like oh and then you get like a crazy super attack or something like that That would be nice it'd be cool if they did things like that that, might, pop- that might be something worth bringing up to popcap because they listen to their fans yeah i was just gonna say that like they're pretty good about listening to their, their they're the players. greatest company out there in terms of listening to their fans in my opinion there's no other game company that will just literally release free updates 
Bethesda is good. Bethesda and ESO is really good about getting back to you with customer support and like. Okay, but those. But I'm saying like That's everything too, that PopCap does is free, and it it makes the game significantly better. Yeah, they're one of the better ones. Absolutely, no, no, they're right. awesome yeah. about it. We love you, PopCap. Yes, Thanks, PopCap. Drew. Drew. Well, you speaking play. of PopCap, I love PopCap. Go back and play. <laughs> go back and play in San Aquarium. You'll love it. Speaking of Pot Gap, I've also been playing Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Don't say. I Well, yeah. I mean, uh, this week they just came back with Mystery Portal again. And for those people that, I don't know, that haven't played Garden Warfare 2 or maybe haven't and don't know what Mystery Portal is, um, it's a once-a-week event that lasts approximately three days. And you're allowed to go into a portal and play a multiplayer event that's exclusive to that week allowing you to gain a currency to buy cool shit um, that was, they offer. It wasn't week. Cats and Dinos this week, or was it? No, it's a it's a mode called Boss Hunt. Okay. And basically what you do is there's a, uh, in a kind of RPG element type boss that has mechanics, and you come together as a, as a four-man team to down the boss. Um, like Raid? It's kind of like that, yeah. It, it reminded me a lot of that the first time I played it. Um, and if you don't adhere to the mechanics of the fight, your team will wipe. And it's very difficult to actually pug a group to do this, mainly because, you know, children play this game. Pug a group? Yeah, uh, I mean, pug is, pick up group. is a pickup group. Oh, okay. I was just yeah. like, it's, like, it's, yeah, just like, random people instead of actually building a team. I'm like, together. we're talking about dogs now? It's like, an, it, no, it's an MMORPG term. Okay, yeah. I, well, I don't play it. You can't do that to me. I don't play it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, th- this is your education, Worth. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, I appreciate it. But yeah, it's, it's very difficult to put together uh, people to try and down. A boss like this because they just don't know what they're doing um in terms of this week though it starts tomorrow which when this podcast is released is probably going to be like it the event's already going to be over anyway but uh yeah. it's it's just a strategic boss fight at least every monday yep and uh and basically you just buy cool shit and and uh I, i've been having a lot of fun playing it yeah i need to i need to get back on pvz i I need to like kind of wean myself off shooters for a little while. Well, they're well. I mean, PVZ is well, a shooter. Well, I, but, PVZ is a sh- first person shooter. Um, say. they also yeah. have a they have a daily event that's going on right now too, where they have this kind of this bat, and you can go to this bat every day, and mm-hmm. you can uh, do this quest to find a key, and it's it's basically like a hot or cold type scenario where you look for this key around the map, and you find it, and once you do then you can unlock this chest and it will get you like a free like halloween themed cosmetic item okay so you can do that every day and get shit and uh infinity packs are also coming back i don't know if you know what infinity packs are i you've talked about them before but i don't i guess i don't know exactly what they are specifically um basically when you you can spend 30 to 40 minutes going into infinity mode Mm -hmm. and playing infinity mode until you get items that are exclusive to that mode well, with the Infinity Packs, you don't have to play at all. And you can just buy the packs and get Infinity Mode stuff. But it costs 200,000 coins a piece for Jesus. a pack that gets you three Infinity items. Which yeah. I've been saving for. Yeah. <laughs> it comes out tomorrow. Uh, people so what you, will miss it never go away comes out. in that game. If you earn points, it doesn't, or gold or whatever, it doesn't yeah, go away. Are, it doesn't expire. Doesn't you expire yeah, you nice. get them. Nice. So. Actually, nothing expires on there except experience bonuses. Yeah. I want the crown that says stuff to you. Was 200 it two, stars. 200 stars. I'm saving up my stars for that. It really doesn't take as long as you think it would. If you do all of your plants and zombies quests each day, it, I think it's like... Uh, I think you get it's like six... I think you get 36 stars per day. It's around 30 at least. I think yeah, it's, if you I think do, it's six yeah. quests each day. You can, okay. You can do it pretty quick. Right on. Um, it's like just, four days. But just make sure you log in every day. Right. And if you log in every day, you won't lose any experience boost or anything. So, right. And you get plenty of stars. So Good. Um, you can also... Uh, no, there's no other way to get stars in any Is there? No, but there's a lot of exciting... Like, they just came out with a new patch probably, I don't know, two, three weeks ago, something like that. And actually, it's more. It's probably been more like five or six weeks, something like that, but... I it's... finally did the uh, zombie burger thing. Yeah, those get you a lot of coins, too, if you yeah. do those. Oh, God, I miss, well, zombie, like, I miss zombie burger. Is yeah. that, like, actually is that a burger. reference to actual zombie burger? 
I don't, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. No. It's like the, the goats yeah. in the game. They have a burger shop, and it turns you into a goat, and you have to deliver the burger in a certain amount of time. Ah, yeah. gotcha. Now I just want zombie burger. Can we go to Des Moines? Yeah, right. Zombie burger, Like please? a quick trip. We are yeah. back. I want, a, I want a walking shed right now. For those of you that don't, that don't a know. A few hours later. <laughs> exactly. For those of you that don't know, right. a walking shed is a, is a cheeseburger that has a deep fried mac and cheese for buns. Oh my god. So, my god. Don't do that to me. My god. Yeah. Only so, double zombie burger. Shut up, Ruth. You're done. Hashtag zombie I'm oh, sorry, that was rude. Let's go around the room and talk about what we'd be playing. We just what? did that. We just did that. No, no, no. I mean, the... for the releasing in the next few weeks. Uh, oh, right, okay. Oh, I was like, name it. Where okay. have you been, man? <laughs> just name okay. it, and then we let what go. What would you play? I want to throw one thing out really quick before that. Okay. We have a couple one year anniversaries today. One of them was Halo 5, came out a year ago today. Yeah. The other one's actually League of Legends came out seven years ago today. They really? don't know that. Yeah, I just saw a thing online about League of Legends. Yeah. Seven, seven years, years ago, ago. With League of Legends. Apparently, whatever the first one was came out seven years ago. Yeah. Never it's played it. So October 27th, 2016. No or care, but apparently it's a thing. <laughs> Yeah. So all you League of Legends players, there Wait, you there's go. There's a bunch of LOL, LOL players out there. So no, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying I never played it. Grand Finals are getting ready to come out. Oh, God. They're going to be millionaires. $5 million pool. Fuck, dude. I want I want some of that. Maybe we should, maybe we should start playing LOL. No, fuck that. And MOBAs just... are so stupid. Like, <laughs> here's what it is. You can't see it that I'm doing on the podcast right now. Here's normal players. Here's good players. There's no in between at all when it, it like, comes to MOBAs. Yeah, yeah MOBAs rough. Pat, Pat, no, it is. The learning curve is stupid. Curves. It's so stupid. I tried Smite on Xbox One. It came I out and I was just like, Smite, Smite was pretty fun. I'm I not did, saying any of them were bad, but I just I, it was, was like, weird I don't get because it. I, I loaded it up, I picked a character, and I went into an online match and just throttled the enemy team. <laughs> well, that's like, like what it was we did. amazing. That's like what we did with the uh, Battleborn. Remember, like I. We I, I crushed I, it in that demo. We did. Holy like, shit! The beta, I guess. Then the beta, in the beta. But like, I picked, I picked that one shaman character, and I went in that game, and I was kicking ass. Like, yeah, I was playing the uh, the sword guy, the wrath. Was that his name? Yeah, I don't know what his name. And is, I was playing a tank as him, which was weird because he was not a tank character. <laughs> But it was fun because I just had a healer follow me, and his abilities were so strong. I just like mowed people down as I. Yeah. Did. <laughs> there you go. You did it right. Apparently. The only one I played was Heroes of the Storm, which was the Blizzard. Right. Um, yep. And I played that with uh, Mr. Ben Baldwin. Yeah. Who we might see. That guy. In the future. He's who's a gamer we know. Yes. Ben I don't, Baldwin. I don't, I, don't know ben, I don't know Ben Baldwin. But so, uh, He's a buddy of mine. He, he's actually my roommate now. Oh, really? there you go. Yeah, Drew, Drew from across Drew the room. has officially given ben? me up entirely and replaced <laughs> He's replaced you. <laughs> Ben's He's, good people. You, you know bought, good. You bought your own house. He's upgraded. Ben to, be, to, to be fair, you got married and had children. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> kind of is, actually. He had, he had eight children. <laughs> ben <laughs> Proudly. Ben, ben, ben is good people. We we will have him hopefully on podcast sometime soon. Good dude. He's, he's, he's a cool guy. But anyway, no, I was saying, uh, mobile wise, yeah, Heroes of the Storm. Right. Like it was mainly the nostalgia, nostalgia, as nostalgia. It was, it was that, all that old nostalgia. The nostalgia. <laughs> it's every time. The nostalgia aspect because you played like Blizzard characters from StarCraft, Diablo, and World of Warcraft right. were the oh, heroes that you played. In that's it. pretty sweet. And it actually. had mobile. It's free to play. One hundred percent free to play. And uh, there's multiple things where you. You have multiple characters that are available once per week, and you earn gold as you win matches. Yeah. You can use the gold to buy characters so that they are always on your team, or you can always choose them so that if the week's over and, like, let's say, uh, uh, Tyrael from mm-hmm. Diablo, who yeah. you know, yeah. he's one of the characters in there. Uh, normally, maybe he's available that week, but if you have enough gold and you buy Tyrael, week's over, guess what? You can still use him. Nice. Is the point. Nice. So, nice. you can spend money to buy characters, as usual, but there's also in-game currency to be able to purchase characters and make sure they're always available. That's cool. Game. So, it's not like it's like not completely like pay-to-win type shit, right? It, you, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Is what it's supposed to be, yeah. The only thing about, like, I always bitch about, as I said about MOBAs, is the learning curve is so fucking ridiculous. It's... Right, it, yeah. It'll drive people insane. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. So, so yeah. But oh. yeah. Well, Logan, what are you excited for? Lots I, of games One thing I did out. want to say today was that we were surprised when we went to the bar today. This is slightly video game related. It actually kind of is. I know what you're going to say. We walked into the bar night before the pod, which we always do our pre-pod at the bar. Okay. And... 
I sit, we sit down, and Drew sits down next to me, and we're looking at the touch screen for the Mega Touch, and it says on there my name, and it says under the fifty dollar prize winners. So supposedly, I won fifty dollars in one of the tournaments on the. Touch <laughs> Did you really? Hey. Yeah. And you didn't even know. I didn't either. even know. You and won. I have like, I have like. Seven days left to claim it. So you, have like, so, you better he, figure that out, man. You got like 90th place out of like, I don't know. Like, however. That counted, right? right? That's 50 right. bucks. 50 bucks in 90th place. Let's go. Yeah. Heck I take yeah. 90th for $50. I, I but, threw, but how much money did it cost you I to took actually a bunch? earn that 50 bucks? I don't think a lot. I think I put Not in like, 50, a, probably. like a buck or two. Yeah. So pretty much you're like, remember in Dragon Ball Z when they were like punching the punching machine and everyone else had to tap, like all the Z warriors had to tap it, but... You're like the 480th guy in line. <laughs> like, That's amazing. Good for trying. Even 50 bucks. Even, <laughs> even Yamcha could have broke that machine. <laughs> yeah. Let's From, be real. Yamcha Roby. Yamcha Roby. I also don't know about that. Yeah. But no, games are coming out. It's the holiday season. Woo! The fucking games are coming Star out like crazy. Season. There's a lot of games. So, yeah, we've already got a couple. Um, Battlefield's obviously out. Um, yep. There's a couple here and there that came out already. I am most excited for Skyrim, Skyrim obviously. Well, Come out tonight. Well, uh, Titan. You know I mean? oh, yeah, yeah. Right. That's already a game, though. But it's going to be a game again. It's going to be. It's going to be. A, it's going to be a more beautiful games. game. Yes. Drew, no one cares about PC Master Race. Shut up. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> so, so uh, Skyrim is going to be amazing. Um, I'm interested in Titanfall 2. I like the first one. I want to see if they make this new one kind of like uh, like a new standard for shooter games. Like if people are going to be playing it two years, three years from now. Mm. Um. Dishonored 2 is going to be fucking awesome, I think. And Watch Dogs 2 is going to be a great uh, change of pace from the first game, which I still love the first game. I know a lot of people were kind of half and half yeah. mixed reviews on it. Uh, I loved it. I'm super excited for the new one. It's gonna be, I think it's going to be like a funnier tone, a little more a little more lighter of a tone, but still have, you know, like... the It's, like, it's going to be brutal. There's going to be still on, a, a lot of trailer, fighting and shooting, so... Based on the trailer that I saw, it's like at E3 and everything, like... like it seems like there's going to be a lot of more like sarcastic dialogue. I think so. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be a more funny kind of you like know witty. Uh, witty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Witty but it's witty. still going to have the same kind of you know uh, fighting and everything else. So it's going to yeah. be. Yeah. I'm excited for those games. That's me. So Patrice. Patrice. Patrick. Patrick. Um, obviously Skyrim. I have not gotten it yet, but I am very excited. Mainly because I've said it multiple times. I'm very excited to play the DLC finally. Yes. I have not played any of the DLC. I've heard Dragon Ball is amazing. I've heard John Guard's amazing, and obviously mod support. My very, very limited mod support on PS4, <laughs> which again, no copyright bullshit. That's 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 the whole point that they're going for. Um, but I will say, uh, my most anticipated uh, releasing in the next few weeks. God damn it, that hit me in the head. <laughs> Give it, Sean. Uh, no, most anticipated it, in the next few weeks because it's three weeks of gays. Well, Three weeks of gay. Three weeks of gay. <laughs> three weeks, three weeks exactly. away. Yeah. Three weeks away. Um. Uh. Final Fantasy 15. That's November. true. I forgot this coming out actually. November. Nice. End of November. Yep. November yeah. 27th. That, God, how oh. long have oh, people been birthday. waiting for that fucking game? So uh, it, long, yeah. Very long time. It, well, it's, been, del- it's been delayed twice. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, so. But again, as me and Josh have said, we are like delayed as much. Right. Like, we want it perfect. Exactly. No, I know that sounds horrible because most people are like, oh, fuck. Blah, blah, blah. Make it perfect. Yeah. That's it. It yeah, is, yeah. is do or die for the series. They have Kingdom Hearts. They have Bravely Default. Uh, Final Fantasy's kind of been on an edge the entire time because people don't like JRPGs because they take too long and grinding and all that. But then right. the action RPG style is really sensitive against the old school Final Fantasy players. So I feel like, yeah, they're trying to find a good medium and it looks amazing. Well, I yeah. think the I think the real time uh, combat system has really helped uh, kind of remove that monotony from the yeah. the, well, the turn based traditional JRPGs. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts was like one of the, well that was one of the first ones personally that I saw that really got me into the action RPG <sighs> mm-hmm. style. And I think like I mean not to dog on like you know classic style games or anything like no, no, that. It's but, no, I, but, I hate grinding. But I like, do it. But I think I, I think the turn based gameplay kind of turns a lot of people away. Mm. Like it drives them away because like you know, a lot of gamers nowadays are pretty, you know, they're they're about like instant gratification. And they don't want to like, you know, 
Oh, I gotta wait my turn to attack? Like, that's bullshit. I want to beat <laughs> this guy up now. I have no fucking patience. Like, I have no patience. Right now. Like, but, you know, old school old school gamers are gonna be like, oh, no, just, like, deal with it. But the sad truth is, you gotta think of it from, like, you know, the developer standpoint, like, a marketing standpoint. Like, how is this gonna sell well? And, right. You know, like, that's the sad truth of it, I feel like. My only thing that I wish they would do, and I talked about it earlier, the Final Fantasy VII remake they brought for PS4. Yeah. I just, I don't think it's really that hard for them to do, because, I mean, an emulator can work the same way when it comes to a console. Right. Uh, I really wish it, whenever they re, or uh, bring back an old school RPG like that, where it's very grind heavy, like, I don't need the, the infinite HP and all that stuff like right. that. Right. But the three times frame rate, amazing. Yeah. Just to be able to speed the game up, you know, just because grind, 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 and just sit there and click X for fucking, you know, uh, 20 like, minutes instead yeah. of like an hour and a half. Hours on And you end. go up like seven levels without even trying, and you're like, all right, now we can actually fucking continue the game. That yeah, was that, a, that, that, that was a genius helpful. idea. Like, right. It was that, just frank, because that was the one thing I loved about emulators. That, uh, but nobody downloads emulators because they're illegal. Right. Well, I don't want to talk about that. What are you just, talking about? Not with that attitude. I just hold spacebar <laughs> and I go four thousand times the normal rate. But of anyway, course you do, obviously. But, but it's it that especially for grindfest games, old school grindfest games. That's that's what's made it a little more acceptable nowadays. Age because I'm I've been spoiled too. Don't get me wrong. Like I hate grinding. Even right. Though I love those games, but I'm like, uh. I gotta get up to level five before I can go to this next place. Like, exactly. This is gonna take me all night. Yeah. Or yeah, whatever. But, Exaggeration, but you know what I mean. But anyway, yeah. Final Fantasy 15 and Skyrim Remastered, my two big ones that I am uh, excited for for the rest of the year. Yeah. Um. Well, I already got my what my game that I was excited for, Valkyrie One. Um. I got that day of because like I've waited at the game all year. Like, yes. I'm not wasting any fucking time. Yes, we have. Oh, uh, and it's so. Go ahead. Is it is it everything you dreamed of, or it has it Here, has it been let down in places? No, it's it is exactly what I was hoping for. Like it's okay. here's my thing. Like you know, COD and everything. They have their own. They have, they live in their own little world. COD's like, oh, let's let's just you know copy and paste the same game that we produce every year. Dice is like, let's reinvent the genre and give people what they want. Like they want boots to the ground combat back. They're like. It just actually feels like, you know, in your face and, like, chaotic and hectic. Like, and not just like, oh, I'm going to jump and fucking bounce off the wall and then shoot you and ground pound and all this other bullshit. But, like, huh, yeah, like, so, yeah, it, it is everything that I wanted. Like, and it, it is, I'm going to be playing that game for a long time. And I'd say Battlefield 3 is probably my favorite one. And this one is, you know, on par with that. Yeah. Yeah. They... They did a lot of new things, obviously, with a new setting and right. new guns and everything. Like, there's really no, like, attachments. There's no... There's no attachments. Like, crazy it's, it's, fucking supers and stupid shit like that. So. It's super bare-bones style combat. Right. It's bare-bones combat is what it is. So, wait, you're telling me there's there's no jetpacks? <laughs> no jetpacks from World War One. No, no, no ground pounds? No ground pounds. There's no mm. sticky grenades. I've never heard of such a game. Oh, my God. <laughs> What like, is this magic you speak of? Yeah. And, if, and if you're gonna if you're gonna go after a tank, you actually have to like you know physically run up to it and throw a grenade at the tank. I haven't heard of such an innovative game since Goldeneye. Ten out, ten <laughs> out of ten, IGN. No, except like, for Odd Job, nobody plays Odd Job. Right. Yeah. No, with random tasks. I mean, God damn it! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> fucking know, Austin yeah. Powers. Yeah. You get what? I did? See what I, I did there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What's your? I said your goddamn ring. Austin Powers, right? Austin Powers, yeah. yeah. No, I just the with it being such a, like a simple game, whatever you want to call it, in terms of the amount of stuff. There's no jetpacks. So there's not like a thousand attachments. Yeah, you they don't added, need that. You, you don't, don't need, need it. it. You don't really. And that's the thing. Like I've always said, I hate supers in games, yeah. like like Destiny and all that. They have like these fucking supers that are like god tier powers. Right. But in this game, it has like the behemoths. Well, they're called. <laughs> what? Whatever happened to relying on your own personal skill? You know, that's, win a game. it's and gone, that's, man. That's it's gone in really shooters good. now. Like. There's different there's different variants of the same weapons in the game. Like they like for example, if you want to get this bold action rifle, like there is an infantry variant which has a bayonet attached to it, but it's just iron sights. You can't get a scope for it. There's a sniper variant, same gun, but it's got a but it's got a scope on it. Or there's another one that's got like you know, you know, a shorter barrel that's more meant for like close quarter style combat. I just I just so, I miss the days like if you were getting into a shooting match with someone you see 
uh, on the field, and you had to you had to duke it out with them. That's dude. That's what Battlefield One is. Well, that's basically that's, yeah. That's great because like you're sitting there, you're like, oh yeah, headshot, headshot, headshot. Like they're gonna be dead soon. Oh, ultimate, like, and you're dead. Yeah, like. Yeah, Fuck your sure, destiny. I mean, I mean, granted, granted, there is, yeah, there's no ultimate moves or anything like that. Like, granted, like, especially if you're sniping, like, counter sniping is a blast. Like, if you're if you're if you're fighting against another sniper in the game, like, it's it gets intense. It's fucking like, stressful. You get you get into some mm-hmm. stressful fucking battles there because you can see like their scope, you can see like the reflection, and you're like, fuck, they can see me because if you can see them, they can see you, and yeah. so it's this real high intensity. So you have to like, yeah. I mean, and I'm using I'm using paintball terminology here but like you have to snap shoot where you have to like you know pop in and out of cover to mm-hmm. like you know like get take a quick shot at them and then come back in and reload but like i mean it gets it gets crazy like it gets really hectic especially if you're fighting it's like not just the one person but you know a whole squad that's what i miss about like games like halo dude you gotta like i think you would like battlefield it. man like if you, pick, try if you picked it up i think you would like it if you did at least try it out mm-hmm. pat being the non first person shooter guy most of the time here uh, one thing I've always wondered, just because I know Gears of War did it, which was awesome, how come they don't have the cover shoot in most multiplayer? That's a third that's person. A third, that's game more of a third person concept. Style. Yeah, first yeah. person games don't really do that, and it's it's wildly inaccurate. Yeah, it, yeah. it loads. Well, I know yeah. that, but isn't that a realistic thing? It, like, yeah, yeah. Somebody, it, no, like it if is. you're under fire, you're right. You're right. There's dudes around. It is, but I think I think like talking from like from a developer standpoint, it might be kind of hard to like difficult to like animate something like that or like you know. Well, then program what? Anybody yeah, is. exactly. No, I and, and, exactly. Trust me, I and where that. the bullets no, go and right, all that. Right, right. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. And I understand from a single player point of view, it's a little bit easier because you got AI from, that you're working with, not multiplayer. Like right. from a third person, from a third, if it was a third person game, it works just fine but a first person game like battlefield i don't it's not it's not practical yeah. no i don't think anybody would do it and it it would be so insanely inaccurate that no one would use the mechanic in general yeah, yeah. no it makes sense yeah. one cool thing that I'm actually thinking realistic it makes sense <laughs> and i mean from, uh, you don't play a lot of shooters and that's a fair thought that's you know yeah uh rainbow succeeds does something kind of similar whereas you're aiming down the sights you can tilt it one way or another. I like that. So you yeah. can yeah. kind of lean around a corner, and so you can kind of get that little, like, just but barely, you know, fraction of an inch on the screen ba- that you need. But Battlefield does that too, but it only works when you're behind cover. Well, that, yeah, in Siege, you can control it at all times. I, Battlefield, you have to be around cover, and it prompts you to do it automatically. All those Tom so. Clancy games all enable you to do that. They do. Yeah, yeah. Tom Clancy, yeah, those games are pretty solid. On point, yeah, most, yeah. most of them. I'm not a huge fan of Ghost Recon. Just gonna throw that. Out. Okay, okay. I, I <laughs> old, thought it was a good game. But... Old Ghost Recons are great. The uh, Advanced Warfighter. Yeah, I was gonna one say Gra- two. Gra- Those were awesome. good. Yeah. Ghost Recon or what's the Future Soldier? Future so, Soldier. Fuck. Garbage. I like Future Soldier. Garbage. I thought don't it was fun. ever. No, don't listen to words. I, I like the gun. <laughs> I, I, like, I just like the gunsmith mechanic. I like, I like. That was cool. I, sp- I spent so, a lot of time just you know messing with different right. types of mm-hmm. shit. Uh, so this holiday season. Drew. Oh, I, oh I got one more. All right. Hurry up, Worth. Um, well, Modern Warfare Remastered. No one cares. Drew. Uh, I do. I do. <laughs> Drew, no, no one I cares. Do. I nobody do. cares. Literally nobody cares. I remember back in 2007 when I cared. Right, yeah. Yeah. When Infinity Ward was making no, that's, that's, that's boots in the ground combat. No, no, nah, nah, that's fair. That's fair, though. Like, that that was a good game. Like, yeah. I enjoyed playing that. Yeah. No jetpacks. It's actual right. gunplay. You yeah. know, got a lot of gunplay. The campaign was good. and You're more excited for the remastered, Worth, right? I'm excited for the remastered. Okay, yeah. Not, I can give a fuck less about Infinite Warfare. Clarify, yeah. fool. I, that, I said modern, I said Modern Warfare Remastered. That's what I did. I tr- no, you said Infinite Warfare. I said Modern Warfare. Remastered. No, you didn't. I well, he did. We haven't recorded. We'll go back. Play yeah. it back. Play it back. <laughs> All right, Drew. Now you're I said Modern Warfare. Um, in terms of games that have that are going to come out this holiday season, um, I'm not pumped up for like anything in particular. I think that titanfall 2 coming out is is pretty cool um i i did enjoy the first game i'm not sold on it yet i didn't play it a ton i didn't play the beta or anything like that i thought the gameplay was excellent Mm -hmm. um they 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 did a great job um and i'd be interested to see what what they have in terms of a second offering for the game especially with the dlc being free um but that's pretty much the only game i'm pumped for but you know, Zelda's coming out, so I'm, 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 yeah. I can't tell you how pumped I am for that. Um, NX is Resident gonna, Nintendo fucking fan. Switch. The Switch. That, yeah. The Switch is going to be cool. That'll, you know be, how many, hopefully. that'll be a little bit later. Yes, that's, that's like what, 
March. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. I watched a bunch of like in depth videos, and I can't tell you how many times people accidentally during the video kept calling it the NX instead of. Oh, the I'm Switch. sure. No, <laughs> I'm sure. No, we've had that problem here at Friendly Fire. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. It's been a That's tough struggle. Way. It was a cool name. The next. The Nintendo next. That's what I got out of well, it with the NX, like the next. You know what's funny, like, um, like b- before the Wii was released, Nintendo was calling it the Revolution. Like that was that Way was better than the Wii. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then, they went with, then they went with the Wii. I still think PlayStation VR should still be called Morpheus. It, that was a cool. Name. Why are the code names always fucking cooler? Like, yeah. like GameCube was called Project Dolphin. The I like Nintendo, GameCube. The I'll Nintendo take GameCube Dolphin. That time, yeah. <laughs> that that'd be, that would be Disco's favorite console. Yeah. The Dolphin's favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> wait, wait, sorry, Drew. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I, 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 it's, it's all good. It's all good. I thought Project Dolphin's a dope name, but <laughs> I like Project Dolphin. <laughs> Project Dolphin. <laughs> yeah. What else are you excited for this year? Anything? Shit. I mean, in terms of other Have stuff. Have you played Skyrim? Uh, yeah, I played a couple. I I haven't played that much of it, but uh, like, yeah. Did you finish the main? Not the main quest, but I mean, did you go no. at least? No, I, I own the game. It's on my Steam library. He hasn't done anything. I played a lot of everything in Skyrim. I know. Like, yeah, so how about everything. how about I crank up all the all the graphics to top notch and plop you in front of my rig and you pr- maybe maybe I'll convert yeah. PC Master Race if <laughs> you show me the, and then the ways. Your right? eyes will open. If you and teach me the ways. The clouds will part and I'm it, down, man. The light will shine down from them, above. Like, the you tutorial through the cave man. and then the f- oh man, dude. When you see Alduin just fly over and you're like, oh, I can go over there. Yeah, let's yeah. go. And oh, my good. You see the gigantic uh, dragon. Uh, looks like Thomas the Tank Engine. You're going to be like, oh, right. yeah. No, Randy Savage. <laughs> or Randy Savage. Either way. Either way. Story is the limit. But no, uh, I think it's cool that Bethesda like shows so much love for a game that they that they want to make it twice. I, I mean, I, I love remastered versions of games. Um, I thought it was awesome when we got a remastered version of Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. And those are like two of my favorite games of all time. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Crash Bandicoot coming too. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, was just gonna say yeah. To see any company show a lot of love for a game like that, especially with the the general response that that people have given towards it, is is pretty awesome. It's so. just nice to see companies actually like pay attention to the fans, right? You know, in general. And that's what a lot of re-releases are. Is there's like our game sold well, people still like it. You know, there's a there's a market for it, and they're like, let's let's fucking do the best we can well, to, that's to like make it was, new. That's like what I was saying earlier. It's like you know you know a game is good when well, five years later after it's released, people are still talking about it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, that's true. But 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 fuck Mass Effect remastered. No. That's yeah. <laughs> that's, that's scumbag EA that's over there. there. That's not this. Yeah. Well, and they, I, they, I had to stir the pot. Right. There you to. go. God. They, they said that, like, you know, we see there's a market for it. We're just, we don't want it yet. And then all the fans are like, fuck you. <laughs> like, we know you want it, but we're not going to release we're it. We're just yet. really concerned with uh, Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare 2, and Titanfall 2 right now. So, that's yeah, not, not, have to chill. You know, not an excuse. That's, I want Massacre It's Massacre. not really an excuse, but they're also really good games. In Battlefield 2017, 8,432,000. Right. Dude, they'll sell, though. Yeah, they do. Like those sports fuck those sports games. They sell. Yeah, fucking Gronk, Gronk, <laughs> and FIFA. <laughs> right. Is it Gronk on the cover of the new Madden game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I knew he was. Yeah. And he was out for like a ton of the season this yeah, year. Yeah, the Madden curse like, strikes again. Yeah, he was out like five weeks. I'm actually interested. Sorry, Sean. I'm he interested to check too. out because I never played the original one, like Watch Dogs Two. Oh, dude, I I love Watch Dogs so much. It's it's a really fun game. The hacking mechanics are cool. It looked fun. So, I yeah, watched yeah. a lot of Let's Plays yeah. from it and everything, but uh, yeah, it was just not something yeah. initially I was into. You did definitely check out uh, the second one then if you were interested in it, because I think they're going to add a lot of really cool things to that game. Um, gotcha. It looks fucking fun. I, I'm so excited for Watch Dogs 2. I fucking love it. Is it, it taking place in the same city? Nope. Uh, Watch Dogs 1 was Chicago. Watch Dogs 2 is San Francisco. Ooh, yeah. yeah. So there is a hacking group in the first game that plays a part in the story. In the first game, you're not a part of it, but they're around. You know their presence. So they like they like them. allude to it. In the, in the... It's pretty much in your face. I mean, like, you know this group exists. They are actively doing things. You're just not really dealing with them. Yeah. In the second game, you're a part of that hacking group. Gotcha. You're a direct member. You're a big part of it. So that's cool. It's gonna be cool. So nice. super excited. I'm excited. Yeah. No, I I never did play Watch Dogs. I know you love it, yeah, and good. I want to, you know, I'm always down for giving your shit a try. Tell you what I want to play, uh, actually, 
Well, they always wanted to play on 360, but I never got the chance to, but they released it this month for Games of Gold. Um, do you guys ever play I Am Alive? Yes. I did yeah. a little bit. Yeah. I didn't yeah. beat it, but I played a little bit of it. It's like, it's like um, Assassin's Creed mixed with The Last of Us, but in a black and white, like, it's, it's black and white color. Like, so it's, all, it's all just... It's an arcade game, too. It's an arcade game, So, yeah. like, 15 bucks when it came out, you know, not but it's made, it's it's super made by elaborate. U, it's made yeah. by Ubisoft, so, of course, they're going to incorporate some Assassin's Creed on this. So, it. part of that is it was, I guess you'd say, like, almost on rails. There wasn't, Probably, like, yeah. there wasn't the free mechanic of climbing. Like, you had to climb where it told you. Yeah. So, it has those mechanics of Assassin's Creed in some ways, but it's, like, oh, I have to go here next. Oh, yeah, it, it, it's on rails. It's not like it's free roam, but... It is a cool game. Like it's a, it's a cool like interesting take on post apocalyptic like atmospheric. Know. I guess very you, atmospheric. You felt yeah. like you were in a really unique world and like you were almost alone a lot of it. So it was it was cool. I liked it. Yeah, and I and I always I wanted to try it on three sixteen. I was like, oh hey, it's free. This it's free. The game's cool this month. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna try it out. But I haven't, I haven't played it yet. Yeah. So we'll do that then. I will. Fuck I'm man. Try to. <laughs> what are you doing here? While we're on the subject, Go of Ubi, while we're on the subject of Ubisoft games, I guess thought I'd bring it up. There you go. Yeah. It was a good game. And Games of Gold for uh, Xbox and I believe PlayStation both got announced this week. Oh, for real? I but didn't see I don't have them in front of me yet. either. All I know is uh, yeah. I think Blood Dragon, Far Cry Blood Dragon is yeah. one of them. Yep. Which for is Xbox? Awesome. Yeah, for Xbox, nice. yeah. Nice. Which that game is a blast. Too, I, so, yeah. Oh, it's so I good. fully erect and ready. Right. Oh, Sean, welcome back to the podcast. Sean, Sean came back with an erection when he heard Blood so, Dragon. You know, so, you know how in uh, Far Cry you use a, uh, a rock to like. Yeah. distract people? Yeah. You use a D20. You use a D20. You use a D20 to distract people. Pretty sweet. So uh, how the, much was Blood Dragon? When I think it was fifteen, 15 when bucks. It came out, yeah, a lot of so games. Absolutely worth. Oh the $15 yeah, worth way more than I. I mean, oh, that's yeah. like a thirty dollar game, right? You know, you think about other games you bought and how much uh, content there's there. It's, it's easily a fucking. It's $30 just nothing game. but seventies like, like gun 80s. reference or eighties, right? seventies yeah. and eighties. Okay. Yeah, it's like I see Terminator, that, yeah. Robocop, like oh, all yeah. that shit, like yeah. Predator, like everything. And and they got like they got the old school like synthesizer soundtracks in the back, like. Yeah, it's it's like doo, 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 it is doo, 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 doo. absolutely more worth than the fifteen dollar price tag. Oh more, yeah, it's more worth than me. Way to English, Sean. Good job. Way to grammar. Nice. I haven't seen PlayStation. Have you seen what PlayStation? I don't remember. Plays? No. Um, I, I, the, I, I, the X, I figured you didn't memorize it. No, the Xbox remember. One releases are kind of lackluster, but nope. Blood, Blood Dragon. Well, on Xbox One, you get uh, the murdered soul su- soul oh, suspect. Oh, yeah, yeah. I Which, I mean, oh, dude, it was I want to try that. It was like a slower paced game. It was methodical. You're like a you're a ghost detective. You're like solving you're your solving, own murder. You're solving your own murder. So yeah. if you the, like thrillers and like suspense games, and you want to like that investigate stuff, free? yeah, yes. that's the Xbox free game. For Xbox Whoa! One. I played maybe half of it. The it was one, fucking the other cool. One that kind of just looked like a dungeon beat 'em up. I just doesn't. I just There's a lot of those that are free. Yeah, I don't really remember. But yeah, murdered soul, su- soul su- I can't say that word. Soul suspect. Murdered soul suspect was fucking cool, and you should try it if you haven't. Totally yeah. get the game. It's awesome. It's so. kind of like um. Did anybody play L.A. Noir? Yeah, dude, I love L.A. Noir. Like, L.A. Noir was really fun. I, I the first of three. I, lo- of I, I mean, love. It's not as in depth. I, I, did, I did not kill that person. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> Shifty eyes and shit, right? Eyes. <laughs> but it, it had kind of the L.A. Noir like aspect. Obviously, you weren't didn't have to pay attention to the person dude, while you were dude. interviewing them, but you did, had to did, get I did, clues. Not, I did not kill that person. Yeah, Shifty you had to get eyes. Eyes. you had to get clues to figure out whether or not this person was guilty. But or but the, but the, th- the thing about that is like you know what, dude. And I'm pissed off that people that people like denounce that game like after they play it like oh you can't go around and kill people like you can't get this auto it's like well it's fucking not Grand Theft Auto you're a detective like, you're, you're, detective you're not supposed to, to do that like, well, that's not the fucking point of the game it's yeah. not it's not the point of the game it but the cool thing about it is if you if you like have like if you question a suspect about something you can't you can't just like assume like oh yeah you did that you have to actually go back in your in your like list of evidence or clues. And you know, have a valid, you know, backup to what your to your claim. Like, right. Like, yeah. So you have to have like, oh, we caught you doing this. This has your name on it. Like, we found this at the crime scene. Blah blah blah. You can't just be like, yeah, you did this, and then the game's like, okay, yeah, he did it. <laughs> You're right, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's like now that you mention it, I do remember doing this. Yeah, I was watching my old roommate play that, and he uh, he would reload over and over and over. To I would like, too. The, like the right thing, which is fair. I do that all the time in games. That if I don't get the what well, the thing I want, I always reload. But yeah, yeah, that game was that was no joke. It was ridiculous. It was it yeah. was and it was cool to see the character progression too. Like he yeah. start he started off as a beat cop, like you know, just on you know just working the streets, I guess. But yeah, he's a patrol. Working the beat. Working the beat. 
But like he 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 gets promoted, you know, moves himself moves up through the ranks as as time goes on, and it's cool to see that progression. But like th- at the same time, there is like, you know, kind of a, kind of a story going along, alongside the main story as well. So yeah, and that that comes to fruition at the end of the game. Rockstar does good work, they for do. sure. Yeah, Red uh, Dead Two, PS 4s uh, free games for November are one and shitty as normal. Lame. Uh, everybody's gone to Rapture. I've heard good things about that. Like it a whole... is one of our free ones, and then this one I've never heard of called the Deadly Tower of Monsters. No idea. Yeah, no, no idea. idea. No. That's like most free games. They're just kind of like, here's a cool one. Everybody's gone to Rapture. One. I've heard like very storyline based, which I dig. Has Bryce gone to Games with Gold yet? No, I already own it, it's, so I don't really give a shit it's anymore. It's one of the first fucking Xbox games that got released. Yeah. It, is. it is. It is. It was a, it was a launch title, yeah. Like, like the Roman, Roman, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. hack and slash game. I, I haven't beat it yet. I played, like, the first two missions of it, which the missions are pretty long. Uh, it was fun, but it should be on gold. It's not worth 60 bucks, is it? It's not $60 anymore, so no. Well, I mean, like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, like when it was released, it was a full price. It's probably game. like fifteen, twenty bucks. I would guess, maybe. But yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Like, That's probably pushing it, but ten. I paid ten dollars for it, maybe, but like not. It was a pretty like well thought out game. It was a full game release, uh, story, multiplayer, really cool combat. I thought so. But is there a lot of is there a lot of like a heavy emphasis on quick time events and stuff like that too? Well, or? not really, because the quick time events are like a one button push, and when you push that button, you get a bonus to a certain kind of stat. So there was really no quick time. You just had to trigger a certain, like, oh, hit B to get more stamina or whatever the fuck it was. I don't remember. Right. So, not really. Okay. Not really. That's good. Bye, Sean. Bye, Sean. Fuck all. Sean. Bye, Sean. But, uh... So what now? There's a Kingdom Hearts news this week. Oh, yeah. Is there's, there? Yep. Yeah. There, there is, is Kingdom Hearts news. Yep. Yeah. So, it, if, well, news. before... Before we it's get not really it, news news, it's just like, hey, we're bringing it to the PS4. But, hold on, I have a question. Before, they, have, they have a list of like all the Kingdom Hearts games here on the on our agenda. Yeah. How do you promote, how do you pronounce this game? It's Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. Like, is that, like, what, what the hell does that even mean? Um, do you, you want me to spoil the storyline for you? I don't play Kingdom Hearts. I know. Go ahead. Oh, Maybe yeah. not. Spoiler alerts! Maybe not, only because if they're going to re-release all this shit, people might want to play it. Yeah. With the re-release, you might not want to spoil the story. Can I just put a spoiler alert? But then how will people know when to tune back in? That's true. Yeah. 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 I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You can do what you want. No, I really don't care. Don't care. No, no, no. <laughs> Basically, the best way to describe it, non-spoiler-wise, is after Kingdom Hearts 1, a very big thing happens to the main character. There's these things called the Heartless. Okay. There's two types of like enemies in the game. There's the Heartless and the Nobodies. Whenever you lose your heart, you become a Heartless. Okay. But there's also your like your body, yes, which becomes a Nobody, which doesn't have a heart as well and has no emotions, is also left behind. So you, there's a version of you that's a Heartless and a version of you that's a Nobody. 358 days... It, 358 and a half days is pretty much the the best way to call it. Instead okay. of slash two, it's just 358 and a half days. It's about uh, the main character, Sora. Uh, there's a point in the game where you unlock your heart and you become a heartless, but be- since you became a heartless, you also created a nobody, and that game is all about your nobody. Right. And then when you start Kingdom Hearts 2, you start the first, like, portion of the game like small portion of the game playing as the nobody and then you meet Sora again and then you reconnect so this game kind of takes place in between yeah. one and two yeah no it's, it's yeah. just yeah, story based but there's yeah. it's it's got a, a game to it and everything like that gotcha Wait, the version I have wow worth that wasn't me no, I don't blame was, you <laughs> the version Fuck you, I have hell, um, on the disc version is just cinematics okay like I've never actually played the game itself because I didn't have the, the DS the, it wasn't a DS game yeah it was a DS game yeah um, there you go. But I didn't have, yeah, that. So uh, I can get the story, like, all the way through, because it's all the cinematics and all that shit, but I've never actually physically played the game, but I know the story behind it, so. Gotcha. Well, and it's the same thing with, um... Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, where's it at? Do, do, never mind, it's not there. Do, do, do. You, you can never mind. No, no, none of those are the same. No, okay. Well, I lied. I mean, I lied. But, but the, t- the titles I have on here is they have a... Kingdom Hearts uh, HD 1.5, uh, Kingdom Hearts Final Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories, 
Yeah. Um, each each version has three that was a games PlayStation to it. Two one. Yeah, the yeah. first two games, and then like the third game, which is normally just a cinematic, just straight up, like montage. Yeah. And then uh, after that, then the next one, two point eight is getting ready to come out. Okay. Before three, which is supposed to be. Some people are guessing it as a super prequel. Other people are calling it just a prequel before three. Right. Uh, it's interesting the way the story is going to go. So have they Kingdom even... Hearts storyline is so fucking convoluted. I was gonna it, say. Makes, it makes One Piece look like fucking what ridiculous. About the one Piece is a masterpiece compared to like Kingdom Hearts. I know it is a masterpiece. What, be, what about Zelda's storyline? Is it more convoluted than Zelda? I uh, I would almost equal the like when it comes to. Also, uh, well, Zelda doesn't have, like, a continuing character always being, like, reincarnated all the time. But, yes, it's, like, all the games just jump all over the place. Gotcha. Yeah. See, I... I There's a great video online that can actually show you the entire timeline. It's, like, 30 minutes long, but it's legit. Should we put that in the description of the the podcast? Yeah, it's off one of my own favorite guys, the game trailers back in the day with Kyle Bossman and everything before, unfortunately, they went... That's okay. Well, look Sad that look that, that up. It's probably still there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, oh, it is. Good. Yeah, good. Anyway, um, nobody cares about Kingdom Hearts except for me. No, dude. Like so. it's this is for everybody. Like it doesn't. It doesn't it's matter. for the fans. For the fans. We love it. Right. We have we cater to all audiences here on Friendly Fire Gaming or on the Friendly Fire Gaming podcast. And since Disco is still here, and he was the one that kind of played this probably more than everybody, the um, Evolve support has been terminated. For the game evolve, I guess I should yes. say, yeah. So yeah, the and game what, evolve the was. Are, well, I, I, so the servers not, are still up technically. They're right? not putting out any more updates for the game. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So servers are online. You still go play the game, but there's nothing new coming out. Yeah, like so. there were they were talking about having what they called evolve stage two. They added it to the PC version. They added the evolve stage two to the PC version, but uh, they were talking about bringing that to console, and that was going to be like their next update. And okay. they were still talking about doing that update, and then all out of the blue, they just announced we're no longer supporting the game. Well, it's probably probably because like I mean the publisher told them they had to stop. Well, it, I think it's also due because like nobody nobody really plays that game a whole lot anymore. Like oh. the servers are kind of dead. Like, but it was a bummer to some. Uh, you know, I always wanted to play the game, but it take it's got a big learning curve. It and was, I never had anybody to play with, so it was a big bummer. And I think this game will officially go down in history as my biggest waste of money ever. <laughs> I mean, it was a good idea in theory. Like, it was a sixty dollars game that I played like one time. Yeah, uh, No Man's Sky was pretty. <laughs> I, I did not I, buy. I, no I paid Sky. No Man's Sky, so well. Uh, but did you did you get your sixty dollars worth? Personally, yes, I did. Okay, but but Disco did not. That's miss just it. my. <laughs> I yeah. No, I didn't. I mean, get anything. I mean, Evolve was a great idea in theory, but I think like they kind of shot themselves in the foot when they like even before they released the game with all that extra like add-on the, content, the freaking meat and cheese and mm-hmm. lettuce and tomato and bun and all that of the DLC. Yeah, it was like it was like one hundred fifty bucks or something, wasn't it? Yeah, it, was, it was something crazy for every yeah. piece of like launch launch content. <sighs> Well, yeah, like, every, everything you get on day one, total a shit ton of money. Yeah, like, yeah. Who, the, who the fuck does that? Right. Like, that's not, that's not, that's not Maniacs do. Game. 2K. Well, I mean, but they released the Handsome Jack collection, so, I mean, that's that's cool. That's a good thing they did. I agree. Yeah. Pat's with me on this Logan. I know you hate Borderlands, but. Yeah, it's boring. No, I love it. No, no yeah, I love Borderlands. I love Borderlands. I've only played the first one, but I loved it. Yeah. Oh, it's so funny. I mean, no, they released they released the Handsome Jack collection. You got Borderlands 2 and... Uh, $200 worth. Uh, I'm not saying it now, but two, back in the day, $200 worth of content for 60 bucks. Like, that's legit. Mm-hmm. Every DLC that ever came out for Borderlands so 2 you got the pre-sequel, for 60 bucks. You got the pre-sequel and Borderlands 2. And all the DLC. And all the DLC for both games for $60. Just like, like, hey, let's go over here. There's a gun. Let's go over there. Oh, look, another gun. Yes, point. It's a okay, shooter. It's like an MMO. It's a looter shooter. shooter. It's, a looter shooter. it's a looter shooter. What do you keep expect? That's shooter. how it is. It's so boring. You gotta me, progress. Though. I did not like it. You gotta progress. Uh, dude, oh, God, I love I love using corrosive guns in that game. It's so fun. Like just pick somebody off with a headshot with a corrosive gun and just watch and just watch them melt. Like the fucking... shooting mechanics were cool. I I mean the gameplay was fun, but I just got bored immediately. I just did not care. Yeah. So I don't know. 
I like the humor. Like the humor in that game, like kind of keeps you playing. Claptrap like, was pretty fucking funny. And dude, and Tiny Tina, Tiny Tina is is hilarious. The second one where Claptrap made like a dubstep song, and he's like just gonna yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. drop. And drop. Just, like, that was so funny. Drop. That was great. <laughs> yeah, Claptrap was the best part yeah, of that Clap game. Claptrap is. Easily. And um, what's the other guy? Catch a ride. Fuck it. Uh, what's his name? Scooter. No, Scooter. Yeah, Scooter. No, you're Scooter. Right. Scooter. Yeah, Scooter. Yeah. Catch a ride. Catch a ride. <laughs> But what was that one? What was that one mission that you did where you had to like you had to go like um, help him write a poem like for this one girl that he liked? <laughs> you had to take pictures. And then, and then you had to take pictures of it, and then you and then you brought the poem to the girl that he liked, and she like read it, and then she went back inside and shot herself. Shot. Yeah, you can physically hear a gunshot. <laughs> Good God! You're like, yeah. yes. She's, she's like, like, it was the worst poem ever. <laughs> like, <laughs> she reads it. She's like, I'll be. She's like, excuse me, and then she goes back inside and you hear a gunshot, and then she like yeah. just falls over dead. My favorite Borderlands Two moment is the one where it's in the big valley area. Uh, it's like the third place you get to, and you're supposed to help bring the shield back up to this town. And while you're doing it, uh, the main like girl who's trying to help you, her neighbor keeps like fucking with you the entire time. He's like, <laughs> one of them's like. You know what's because the the mayor's a woman. He's like, you know what's worse than getting hit by a meteor? Bringing a woman. <laughs> and you just and then she ends up <laughs> she ends up going like, hey, let's test the shield out. Let's see what happens. And you see the meteor fire, and it just hits that neighbor's house. And she goes, oh, I forgot to turn the shield on. And then she turns it on, and then they test it again, and it works fine. <laughs> Jesus, that's hilarious. Like, the entire time, he's just fucking with the mayor. And then all of a sudden, yeah, it's just... It's, oh, uh, dude, I love the humor in that game. It's so, it's so clever. It's so, so funny. Well, the ha- Jack... Ugh, I can't fucking can't talk to The Handsome Jack collection is uh, free this weekend on Xbox Live. Oh, it right? is? You can download it and play it all weekend for free, and then it, you have to pay for it if you want to keep that. Oh, so, it's so. a free to, free to Which play weekend. pretty cool. I mean, it no, gives you awesome. an entire game yeah. to play for, you know, three or four days or whatever, so. Yeah. Pretty sweet. I'd pick it up. Nobody will hear this before Monday, so it really doesn't matter. So. Well, you know. Sorry, what? everybody. <laughs> we, we led you to believe something. You they, can look they, back at the footage that other people do. Right, yeah. yeah. Right. You can, you can, Jack is such you can a watch, great villain. You can watch the Twitch streams and, you know, pretend that you're actually playing the game. That's Handsome Jack moment is when he's telling you a story about this guy. He's like, so I went and raided this village and all the children and the women, they're screaming like, oh, we're dying. Oh, my husband. Oh, my father. He goes, this guy decided to charge me with a spoon. And he's like cracking up in the middle of the, the dialogue. And he goes, so I grabbed the spoon from it and I scooped his eyeballs out. And he's running around like an idiot, bumping into stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like cracking up and trying to tell you a story. He goes, and basically the impo- whole point of the story is you're a total bitch. Because you just like ruined one of his plans. So he just made the story up <laughs> just to fuck Jeez. with you while you're talking to him. This guy's an asshole. Yeah, handsome Jagger. He's an he's a, he's a funny asshole though. Yeah, but uh, I mean, I, I think that's all the news. We had that, that, that's all the news we had for this week. We had we had to kind of like 15. yeah, we had to kind of like you know. I don't oh, care yeah. about the online multiplayer yeah. though. To be you're not the guy to ask about the pad, are you? Yeah, <laughs> I don't care about that. The multiplayer pads, like I, I mean, don't give it, a fuck. I mean, man. what I, what I heard this, what I heard like a little bit about it, it sounds kind of like it's it's cooperative, kind of like Mass Effect three style multiplayer, just like, taking down like open world monsters. I, I think. The, so. Well, like, actually, actually, you know, I should, that's that's wrong. Like, that, that, I should say that's wrong. That's wrong me to say. Like, it sounds more like you know, Fable Legends, like kind of what Fable Legends was supposed to be. Like, it's open world, cooperative multiplayer gameplay. It was an open like, world. It was an open world. No. So essentially, it was like I don't, like scenarios where it's like, okay, here's who you fight, and you have to go through this progression of an area. So it's pretty linear. You would go from point okay. A to B to C, blah blah. Then as you would fight in this, like, progression, it would get harder and harder, or, you know. And in Legends, specifically, you would, uh, or not Legends, uh, yeah, Fable Legends, yeah. Fable Legends, um, yeah. The boss of, like, the enemy boss was an actual other player. So, uh, they like, the player would take control of the Oh, the okay, of the thing, I see. So, so, uh, yeah. so, yeah, you're fighting NPCs uh, in, in 15, I assume, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, I'm sure, yeah. 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 It's okay. Maybe I was mistaken there. We need to do, I should have done a little more research. Fact check. Yeah, I should have. We all just make shit up most of the time, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows, right? That's all we got. Um, I, I don't know. I think we have any other news today. I do think far. people... I think Final Fantasy players will at least like the idea of multiplayer. Just something to try. It's something new. And Mass Effect kind of almost proved it in a sense where you can take a single-player experience and add a multiplayer that doesn't detract from the single-player. 
and can also be very fucking cool. And it actually yeah. adds to like your single player campaign. Yeah, I mean Mass Effect specifically That'd be did. Awesome. Yeah. 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 It well Mass Effect 3 did. Br- well, yep. no, I mean just Final Fantasy 15 wise like Oh, I killed this awesome boss. Got this sweet sword. Guess what? I can use it in my yeah. single player game now. Yeah, Let's you know what? Go. You know what yeah. is a down to this is that it's DLC and the game was delayed. I mean, that kind of stuff always pisses me off. I don't I know. know if it pisses everybody off, but the when you see a game is... get delayed and then you see them go, "Oh, hey, there's gonna be DLC." It's like, what the fuck are you doing while this game is delayed? Like, so I... wait, the multiplayer is DLC? Yes. Yeah. Really? You yeah, the multiplayer is, doesn't yeah. come with the game? No. 15 oh, DLC. Yeah. Weird. Okay, is it free that, DLC? That changes no. things then. Okay, there is a wait, season pass. The multiplayer as a whole is not free and not included with the game? That's Disco different. Shaking said yes. That's okay. different then. That's fucking weird, man. Yeah, oh, I didn't no, know that. Is that in our notes? Did I miss that? Yeah, it says Final Fantasy 15 DLC will come. But you can have multiplayer DLC that is in addition to your existing multiplayer. No, oh, yeah. This yeah. is that's that, how I read the that. DLC that they're finalizing will include a multiplayer. Okay, I read that differently. That's gotcha. weird. Gotcha. Weird, okay. man. Square Enix, what the fuck? Yeah, let's fact check. The hell, man. <laughs> I was reading what Sean fucking put. I just, uh, again, I don't think it's like a good that. idea. I think, I don't think that... I think they're trying too hard. Well, what they're doing. I think that they're literally forcing in DLC. That's what, yeah, they're trying too hard. That's what I'm saying. This is, like, Final Fantasy, besides the MMOs, has always been a single-player game. Now they're trying to throw the multiplayer in to get all... Get all the multiplayer. Get all the 8, See, 9, and 10, and 12 Well, let's face it, the, fucking, po- the right. gamer population is is geared toward multiplayer nowadays. No, so. it's understandable. It's yeah. true. Yeah. I think the better way to go, to go about it would have been to have, like, a four-player co-op. Yeah, that'd be fun. Well, and not worry about Well, it is it is co-op. Though. I think this well, yeah, the whole first was four player. It's four player. I don't know, yeah. I don't know. Well, yeah, four co-op. party characters like when you play the single player. You definitely want co-op. And you can jump back and forth game, between yeah. them while you're playing the game, but I don't know like multiplayer wise what that would be like. Yeah, I don't know. If you have your own custom character that you create or if you just have to play one of the main characters. But my last thing real quick what are we on time? Are we good? No, we're getting. We're about done. So what? What? What else you got? Uh, well, no, no, you got time. Disco is not here, so we have to ask him. What do you think about the Nintendo Switch? I uh, I think of it like I think of anything that Nintendo na- announces console related <laughs> in the last several years. Is, I'll wait and see. Do that. That's are a you fair, just waiting for specs or um, you want no? To... I don't care no. about specs. Specs are not important to me on consoles. They never have been. Uh, to me, it's. What what are you bringing <coughs> to consoles? Like, yeah. Are you going to start releasing console worthy games? Are, are they, you or are you going to pull a typical Nintendo and be like, yeah, we're going to do it, and then we're going to have like two games come out, and then the rest of it's going to be they like did, party game wise. They did announce, um, you know, right along right along with the trailer that uh, they were going to be, you know, there's a lot developing party. a lot. Del- they bring a lot of third party developers in, you know, to it support, also, support the console. that doesn't pull me in yet either because how many of these third-party developers are uh, are bitter that they have not been able to be worked with for years and years? That's true. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. I guess I don't Nintendo's know Nintendo's been so anti-against it. So, uh, me personally, I'm not sucked in just yet. But we'll I see do, what I, happens. I do think that. it does. I do think it looks promising, though. I mean, it kind of it, it does sound like they are kind of bringing something new to the table as far as consoles go we'll see but we'll see yeah. it, it's I, it, it's we know nothing about it that's the worst part my favorite part is though just crazy thinking about it just like let's pretend the switch is good okay, okay. Yeah, just get well, for a second this pretend. just pretend for a second Next year at the convention, instead of DS's, fucking switches. Ooh, like, yeah, all really throughout, you know, or just big right? events like that, you know? People yeah, just showing up right. with okay. freaking switches and just hanging out. Yeah. That could be gotcha. worthwhile. Wow. That'd be amazing. Okay. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> that could be, uh... Game on. <laughs> could anyway, be interesting. That's the last thing I want to talk I mean, about. As far as the it. concept of it goes, it's it's interesting that you can just, like take the controllers right off of it and or you can just take the whole thing with you or you can just like set it down onto the base and, and use then it's it on the like, tv yeah. and I, I like those ideas 
Um, there's got to be some kind of way to lock those controllers on. Yeah, they snap snapping, right? They probably snap in, yeah. It like, looks like you okay, actually clamp them in and they become part of the unit. I get that, but if you, I, I didn't see a whole lot in order to just pull those off. Yeah. Well, I, I just were, saw them just grab onto it. it and just pull it right off. I don't. Well, and I would assume that they would kind of like you know put that into consideration. Would be some like would the you triggers. Assume that? Like you click the triggers in and it just pull it, it it's also a marketing video, so they might not show the technical side of things. Well, I get that so, there's probably something they, on the back that they had to right. rip. They got to show some it easy use. Fairly easy. Yeah. Hopefully, it is that easy, right? You hope. I I would actually prefer it to be like <laughs> kind of a tough pull because. If you're walking around with that thing, holding it by the controller, it's yeah, really, like your daughter. Somebody sent. Oh, like, ah, somebody I'll, sent. I'll a, give you a tough pull. Disco likes the tough pulls. Somebody <laughs> sent a gif of them, of them holding the controller, and the middle of it just fell right out. And is that a possibility? Who knows, right? You're holding it and just falls, and it hits just the ground. You're like, fuck. Is that or is like vacation time? And you're getting ready to go on a road trip, and all of a sudden, you know. Oh, well, we gotta bring the switch with us, and the dad's like, "Come on, we gotta go." And you're like, "I can't find the other side of the switch." Right? And like you know, yeah. like you're searching around the house for this one little yeah, teeny that tiny would, controller. That would and suck. Like, Where to go? We can't <laughs> play the fucking thing with that. I mean, there were I saw multiple like memes and stuff that were making fun of it. Yeah, but Skyrim Mobile though, that actually Bethesda did not officially announce Skyrim. Oh, that's more of just like a demo partnership for the marketing team for that video. Oh. Which actually kind of sucks. I call shenanigans. Skyrim is not announced for the uh, Switch, so likely for console sales on the other consoles. But who knows? Because right? Bethesda, Bethesda was like, "Oh, we're super happy to partner with them for the video," and then we have nothing else to say. Yeah, so <laughs> it, was, it was kind of like a real like, "Yeah, uh, we're gonna go here now." Yeah. So, but actually, Disco, uh, we all kind of threw out an idea real quick. I mean, I know there's not a lot of specs yet. Do you have an idea of a price point you think they're gonna throw? Out? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, being that it's 2016 and we seem to be jacking things up, I'm gonna go with 400 bucks. That's about what we said. Yep, that's kind I, of I, I right saying, around that realm. Yeah, I was saying anywhere less. from 350 to 400 would be a good, a safe bet. I said 399 to yeah. 4 I would not even be slightly surprised to see a 500 dollars price point. But that's what I said 499. That eh, might be kind of pushing it, but well, they need I'm, to I'm have. I'm saying I would not be surprised. Yeah, I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen. I would say the best price point. Would be three fifty. Yeah, I can see like. But a bundle I would with say the... their ideal price point would be five hundred. So that's with the like the pro controller like and a and a launch title. You know, Zelda or fucking. Yeah. Uh, they showed a new Mario game. Like in the trailer, actually, so. I, I all I saw from that Mario game was that it looked exactly like Super Mario sixty four, and that excited me. <laughs> <laughs> right. It. I think it is supposed to be like a kind of a rehash on that though too. I, it, to me, it looks more like it's supposed to be some kind of sequel to that. Well, yeah, they look, no, it looks like it's like it has the three. Not open that there world. really was that much of a. Story Guess what? You don't have game. to worry about motion controls. You just fucking do the thing. Oh and it God, does the God. thing. God. Fuck motion controls. <laughs> when are we yeah, doing something going to learn that that nobody wants? To yeah, know. those are my thoughts on the switch. Oh, cool. Nice. Good. Yeah. Good. We had to get, we had to get be, you in. I might be excited after it releases. Yeah. I definitely will not have any excitement for it before. Did it anybody else see? And I think it's January. They're having another kind of press release that's going to have more technical uh, yeah. information for us. Mm-hmm. So that's also will be another time where we can at least think about what it's going to be and, and talk more intelligently about what what it will be when it comes out. I will so. have to see user reviews for this. Well, that's yeah. true too. Have Obviously, to. yeah, but it's it's fun to talk about it. Right? Yeah. I'm excited. It's, it's a new idea. So it gets it gets views. I mean, we there all go, right? we all <laughs> played YouTube Nintendo. Wars. Yeah. I mean, whether you like to admit it or not, like my first console I ever played was an original NES at my grandma's house. Mine Me too. Man, I sat there. Mine was the old, old school like, NES. Nintendo has been there throughout our lives, whether, and yeah, they've they, yes, they've made many mistakes. <laughs> throughout especially, the past especially couple la- years, especially last generation. But I just I think they've kind of at least maybe realize their problem and are trying to fix it but also make it innovative in their own way and i hate using that word innovative <laughs> at least you didn't say repetitive fuck that yeah, yeah i know but no headphone jacks is innovative so you know i'm just mini hair dryers iphones are garbage <laughs> yeah who doesn't want mini hair dryers in their ears <laughs> um apparently natalie does because she bought an iphone 7 ridiculous apparently they come with some kind of adapter so you can't use your headphones yeah but still but what's the, what's the fucking point of that just you get a headphone jack 
I don't <laughs> understand what they were compromising I, I by, by having know. it in there. It's stupid. Could they anyway. get like a slightly larger battery or uh, something? I mean, a freaking headphone jack is literally just a port from the control board, so... I think... Apple are just a bunch of assholes. I think so too. Steve Jobs, we miss you. I think they didn't want the yeah, hole. Really, <laughs> really, we really do. I think Please they come back from the dead. The hole in come the back, plastic. Maybe. Like, you know what? We we I'm tired of having this hole there. I would rather have a molding that does not have a hole in it. Steve Jobs ghost is just screaming right now at somebody. He's like, "What the fuck are you doing? No headphone jack! <laughs> you people are crazy." Uh, <laughs> anyway. Anything else, gentlemen? I don't think so. I think that is the podcast. That is the podcast. This is the first one I've stuck around to the end for quite some time. Nice. Yeah. Disco's here the whole time. We lost Sean, Sean, Sean and Drew. They're Sean, gone. Sean came close to sticking around the entire time. Right. Me and Logan, as usual. That doesn't really fucking care. Sean's played Rocket League for like 30 minutes of the podcast. It yeah, doesn't count. he kind of just went MIA. Disco did leave too, but he also came back. Games, yeah. yeah he, he came back. He like, he's, he's, like, he's like that kid that eats paste in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, so I'm Patrick. I'm Nate. Disco. Logan. Podcast God. Logan. Episode 51. Yeah. And yep. don't forget to obviously subscribe to us on YouTube, most importantly. Yeah, especially if you're going to watch the video. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have we have videos. We might as well, right? We just I just released... said especially if you're going to watch the video. Yeah. We just released a uh, Rainbow Six Siege video for our first segment for Playing With Fire, which is a... Uh, Segment where we uh, play games with people that aren't normally associated with us, like kind of just friends or fans, but could be anybody. Could be anybody. Throw your uh, gamer tag in the comment or something, you know, whatever. You could be featured on the. Yeah, video. we love. We would love to play play some games. You want to play with your mom? Who knows, man? <laughs> play with your mom. She gets crazy when you play with fire. So, man, all right. I would take care of her. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll see y'all next week. All right. See you guys. Bye.